welcome back. And today we are off to the mighty Birmingham for the first shoot of the year. The mighty Birmingham. <laughs> <laughs> the mighty Birmingham for the first shoot of the year. Carlotta's shoot. If you follow the Instagram, I'm sure you will have seen some of her progress so far. She's looking good, she's feeling good, I'm excited. Um, she's actually from like southwest of London, which is I think a little place called Fleet, which is like five hours away. And she was more than happy to come up to the, the northwest of England, Chester. But I thought it was a bit, <laughs> a bit of a trek for her. So Han, Han and I, and Sam, photographer Sam, you know Sam from previous videos, we are off to Birmingham to Kingdom Gym, I believe it's called. So we're gonna meet there. I think it's it's about an hour and a half for us. I think it's about three hours for her. So I've taken two hours off for her. Um, just because I'm a good coach, you know. But obviously first things first, we're off to train ourselves. Monsters going in. We've already had pre-workout. To be fair, I may as well give you some information about caffeine or something valuable. So normally I wouldn't have caffeine first thing in the morning. It's not first thing in the morning, I've been up for like an hour and a bit but 90 minutes is typically how long you should wait before you have any form of caffeine. And if you're wondering why, try it and then let me know how much better you feel. The reason why we do that, and if you watch any of Andrew Huberman's podcast, you'll know why, is because essentially what happens is adenosine, it's called, is like sleep pressure, it builds up throughout the day. That's why we get tired at night. And we still have adenosine in the system early in the morning. So essentially, if you were, caffeine is a, kind of blocker of adenosine so this is why you have caffeine to block sleep pressure to make you feel more awake but if you have caffeine first thing in the morning you've not allowed your body to naturally flush out adenosine essentially so if you wait 90 minutes adenosine is cleared from the body then you can have your caffeine and then essentially you'll be caffeinated much more efficiently than if you were to have it first thing and then you just experience kind of them caffeine crashes throughout the day if you haven't tried it try it it will make a big difference i used to have coffee first thing in the morning and then i wonder why my energy levels were up and down all day wait 90 minutes Try and go for some natural sunlight first or cold shower or just wait 90 minutes if you're patient enough and then have your caffeine and tell me how much better you feel off the train pool now anyway there's a little bit of education for you for your first first youtube no it's not the first youtube of the week of the month maybe um and then we're off the tra we're off the train pull aren't we han early for us to be fair but training always needs to get fitted in somewhere and obviously we'll be driving for about three hours of the day so rather do it now than when we get back eh? Anyway we might see you in the gym. Full session wrapped up. That is a bit of an insight as to what it looks like. I've had to leave single arm rows out today because we are on a bit of a time tight time schedule. So 
That is roughly what it looks like. Typically it's about an hour and a half, but it took about an hour and 15 today because we are rushing as per usual. But wouldn't have it any other way, would we? Time to hit the road. I'd say this is one of the benefits of COVID is that my hygiene levels, not that they were bad before, but hygiene in terms of hand sanitizing post gym is a lot better than it was. Because it makes you think you'd never be really used to it. Like you're touching all the equipment, sweaty equipment, and you're just not even washing your hands. So definitely uh, something that's changed for me is hand sanitizing on the way out. You're doing yours. <laughs> And you as well. We never used to do it, did we? But I suppose it was never out either, was it? Like it wasn't just on the side. As accessible as it is nowadays. Mm. <laughs> Basically just promotes blood into the muscle when I say that you won't have it. Beta alanine it's called. Like what's in pre-workout thing. I'm very actually. tempted to get some. I was about to lick that. Lick it, that's habit. Just so conscious <laughs> that I look at You say you see the same bitches everywhere that you go. You got me going in circles every time that you show. And I don't know, I'm in love with this man, Post Malone. Yeah, I'm in love with this man that I call Post Malone. And we can go together, kind of like Zach and Codeine. And maybe you can try being. Doing like any exercise we're trying to shorten the muscle lengthen the muscle so put literally pushing out so less bend in the elbow look extend and then just literally just push out try and keep your traps down and as soon as you kind of initiate the movement imagine you're scraping your knuckles along the floor pushing out keeping the traps down try not to turn it into a shrug 12 reps go Maybe we should so. do a pull-up early on. Because it's always a good shot doing a pull-up. No, I can't do like pull-ups, I can do like a, a chin. Yeah, but it gets the back looking pretty juicy. One more set, 15 again. Upper session going down. 12 to 15 reps, three sets per exercise. You know the dilly. Have a look from behind the back, it looks quite nice. exercises you want to do specifically just say anything wide grip pull downs obviously one and if there's any you don't want to do just say as well <laughs> if you don't want to do this we don't have to <laughs> so. I know it's light Does that feel alright though yeah right I don't know what weight you want I would start off with five <laughs> my shoulders are very strong you'll be able to do more than that you said you miss pressing, or you mean chest pressing? Chest, yeah. It's been a long time. How did you find it? Good. First one that came yeah, up. Yeah. Is that about right? 12 to 15. Send it. Nice. Let's try and think front delts throughout this. So nice stretch at the bottom here. It. and imagine you're driving your elbows towards your ears as you come up squeeze at the top five let's try and get 12 six while working the camera pressure's on seven eight sorry yeah of course Come on, Delt Queen. Nine. Ten. I reckon we got five more. Don't be a little bitch. Drive, drive, drive. Good. Four more. Four. And again. Drive, last one. Come on. Four more. <laughs> yeah, nice. 
<laughs> one more, one more. This will do, last one. Slow negative as you come down. Drive, 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 cut it down. Four, four seconds on the way down. Four, three, two, one, press. <laughs> Try it without any weight, just to get used to it. And then squeeze here, contract, contract, contract. I might have said this on a form clip. Imagine you've got an orange underneath your armpit when you're doing lat work and you're going to try and squeeze the juice out of the orange to contract the lat. There you go. What I'd personally do is put your thumb on top like that. Yeah. It just allows a little bit more. That's it. And just try and keep the elbow as tight to your side as you can. Yeah. What do you reckon? 10? Squeeze. Nice. Remember, not too much stretch. Pause there, then back down. Elbow into the side, yeah, good. Three to go. What made you give up in the past? Um, Do this set as well. It's going to be intense. Yeah. Life. Yeah. But this time I've just not let it affect me. Nice. Well, you've done very well. Now, just time to put the cherry on the cake. Don't talk about cake. <laughs> Biceps, biceps to finish. Let's get a nice little pump. Oh, come on. One way ticket to Shredsville. Come on, pump, pump, pump it up. So we're here with Carlotta today, we've just finished off our first photo shoot, prep and photo shoot. How are you feeling? Yeah, really good. Very well. <laughs> Gonna ask you a few, a few questions. Before you started working with me, what were some of the struggles, barriers or restrictions that you faced with your health and fitness journey? 
Jessica? So, for me, it was very much to do with like accountability. Um, I, w I was always, I've always been a gym goer. Um, I've always loved lifting. Um, but for me, it got to a point where I really started to plateau and I didn't really know what direction to go in. Um, and I've always said to myself that I've wanted to get my physique to a certain level um, and I just could never achieve it on my own. Um, so I sought you out <laughs> and uh, you have not only changed the accountability side of things, but my mindset is just completely different um, from when I started. Um, 100%. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Thank you. Since working with me, what have we done to overcome some of these barriers, problems, or restrictions? You've given me a massive kick up the arse <laughs> to uh, make me sleep. So my sleep was always crap. Um, and one thing that you hammered on, hammered me on at the beginning was get your eight hours in. Um, and even if it meant me getting up at half four in the morning, I still bloody did it. Um, and yeah, so it was sleep, getting my steps in, and also water was a big one. I was never been a big water drinker. So getting my water in really actually massively helped my weight loss. So you going to bed at eight probably some nights? I every night was going to bed at eight. Did you feel better for it? I did, absolutely. It's always people's reactions that are like, Why well, are you getting up at half four? And I'm like, to get my cardio sessions in. <laughs> nice. And finally, where are you now? in comparison to where you were before you started and would you recommend my service to any other people? 100% 100% like if you want to feel better about yourself mentally positive always yeah. this is one thing that I've said to you from the beginning like not only do you help other people feel positive but and you kind of live it yourself so to be able to see that and have that support system as well is just so helpful you know um, but yeah would 100% recommend you to anyone Definitely. Smashed it. <laughs> Thank you very much, Adam.